Hi, this is Amy from the LT store, and this is Elsie, the solar puppy, who's actually all grown up now. And we are doing another of our editions of LT at Home. And I am here with one of our most senior employees, Ben Farmer. Hey, Ben. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, Ben has been with the LT store since or just after the turn of the century. What, what year did you start? 2003, September 15th to be exact. Wow, that's fantastic. And, and so um, you've always been in technical sales here. Yes. So you have seen more than your share of solar systems and changes and- uh, Composting toilets, <laughs> uh, yes. systems, wind turbines. <laughs> you've seen it all. So what we are gonna show is, you've got a couple of different systems here. So we're going to make a couple different videos um, and we're gonna start with your grid tide system. So give us a quick little overview of uh, what you've got for your grid tide solar system. Yeah, so back in uh, 2015, uh, we secured uh, some Kyocera 270 watt panels. So for this system, I actually have two strings of 18 panels. Uh, have solar edge optimizers connected to them. Uh, daisy chain together, yeah, two strings of 18 going into the solar edge 10 kW inverter that you see here. Fantastic, so let's actually do a little road trip because we can and, yes. uh, and walk through the whole, the whole system. And I'm gonna pop up a schematic so we can follow along as uh, you do your, your demo. Sounds great. Cool. So here you'll see I have the array on my home, uh, two separate arrays. It did originally start off as uh, one array on this roof surface, uh, but that's before I realized my town had three foot setbacks. So I had to take part of the array down and put it onto my garage. Uh, and that's why you still see some flashing there on the side. And then the top row of panels had to be put in landscape to fit. So I have a three foot clearance on top. Ah, and you have a special guest star. <laughs> oh, yes, and here we have Messia inspecting what's going on. Here, uh, you'll see that I brought some conduit oh, yeah. uh, from the main roof surface over. Uh, that's a very string, even though it's going to a second array, it's still connected to the top row of panels as one series string. And then uh, it connects uh, to a pass through box, a Wiley Ace four string pass through. Even though I'm only using two strings right now, I wanted some additional room uh, for the future, although I don't know where I could fit anymore. <laughs> and you'll see the conduit coming out here. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the junction box is right uh, below that array because it can flush them out against the rail. And all of the optimizers are installed on the rails underneath the panels, so, so we can't see that. Exactly. Yep. Each optimizer is one per panel underneath it, all daisy chains. Beautiful. And so we come off the roof here, down into uh, a penetration into the home, going into the grid time inverter. Now that we're back on the inside, the output from the Wiley four string pass through, even though we only got two strings, is coming in through here that says caution solar circuit over to the integrated DC disconnect in the solar edge 10 kW inverter. And then it comes out of the inverter as AC. Correct, out of the inverter, AC. It's actually passing through here real quick, uh, back to the uh, disconnect you saw on the outside. So here you see the, uh, uh, the conduit coming out on the left side, which is coming back out from the inverter to a non-fuse disconnect to the production meter, back down to the other AC disconnect, which is uh, serviced by line side tap. Inside. Inside, correct. Uh, and then coming back in uh, to this fused AC disconnect, which is where I have my line side tap, which is where all the output is going. Uh, it's spliced into the four aught service cable from the utility. So this way you're bypassing your, your home breaker box. Exactly. I have a 200 amp service panel, but because of the size of the array at 10 kilowatts, it's just too large to fit inside as a breaker system. So we actually have to uh, splice into the service cable. And you can right. actually see that thick service cable, those gray wires in the top of that uh, 
line side tab junction box. Right, right. And I've got a blog that we wrote that explains about the 120% rule, which, which explains why you had to do the line side tap. So uh, I've got a, right. a link here that, that uh, you guys can check out if you're interested in that. Then from the line side tap, it's connected to the utility uh, four aught service cable and GMP installed a bi-directional meter uh, to regulate my output. And then that just goes off to the grid. Goes off to the grid, reduces my bill. Thank you very much. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Well, that was so cool. Thank you so much, Ben. My pleasure. So this has been Amy and Ben at the Alti store. Hope you like the show. If so, give us a like and a share. And be sure to go to our website at altistore.com, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.